Hi everyone, I'm JD from Willow Down Journals. Welcome back to my channel. So here is my vintage journal. This is one of my favorite, favorite journals that I've been using. I started using it last year. And so it's been a while since you have seen this. So I thought I would do a flip through of this and then chat about um, some of the pages I've done since I saw you last in this journal. But basically the idea behind my vintage journal is that it's very visual, very creative, interactive, and a place for me to have fun, play with my favorite pieces of ephemera. So this is where I collect special pieces that speak to me, special treasures, whether it's vintage pieces like this page, or whether it's just cute things or pretty things or beautiful things. I have a drawer or a basket or one place in my room where I put aside anything that just sparks my joy, <laughs> um, that means something to me, that speaks to me in some way, like the crown, <laughs> like sparkles. Um, and so each page not only features something that I just think is beautiful, like this piece here, but each page spread represents a certain memory or a certain lesson that I learned or something that I'm celebrating on the page. And so that makes every single page in this journal very, very significant and meaningful to me because everything works together, all of the pieces and the story behind them. And so that's what I love about this journal. Yeah, it's just that um, it's so meaningful. Each page has a story and yeah, I love it. <laughs> so um, yeah, I am determined to finish this journal this year. And um, I just really, really enjoy working in it. And so I wanna make sure I, I yeah, actually use it and finish it and um, keep on going with it. So I'll give you a look at what I've done so far. There is a playlist of some Junk Journal With Me episodes that I did in this journal. And I think there's also a separate playlist where I share the stories behind each page. So I'll link those below in the description box if you would like to check those out. Love that fabric. Now this page you haven't seen yet. I've titled it A New Adventure. This is one of my quote cards. She walks with beauty wherever she goes. And so this one, I'm actually reserving the story behind this video on Patreon, just because it is a bit more of a personal story. Um, so anything where I share more personally uh, and personal updates, life updates in general, um, they all go on Patreon. And so they're following my journey there. Um, and so I'll leave the link below if you want to check that one out too. But let me chat about this page. So this picture, it's beautiful. It's water lilies, it's watercolor done by the lovely Heather, who I met years ago now through the blog world, back when I used to have a blog. And she, um, she painted this and she even actually gave me permission to um, put this up on Patreon. So all patrons have access to this beautiful picture along with two others that she did as well um, but this one was my favorite and the story behind this is that um heather's quite a significant lady in my journey <laughs> i would probably not have a youtube channel without her to be honest so this is very 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 significant um because yeah i do share quite a lot on my channel and i'm all about vulnerability and sharing our struggles and letting people know they're not alone and encouraging each other and that kind of thing. But before I did any of that, <laughs> I was very quiet. Uh, I still am quiet in my real life, but um, I would never share my struggles, basically. I would never share um, any of that kind of dark, ugly side, the vulnerable parts. I would keep it locked behind closed doors. I call myself a closed book with 10,000 locks and no keys. <laughs> Not sure if you can relate. Um, just because of the fear of what people would think of me, the fear that people would reject me, hate me, that if they knew the real me, they wouldn't like me anymore, um, that my friends would leave me, all that kind of stuff. So I don't know, I'm sharing vulnerably here <laughs> in the hopes that you, maybe you can relate and you can know, oh, someone else feels the way I do or 
um, I'm not alone, it's not weird, and it's not okay, and it's all okay, because <laughs> they're just feelings. <laughs> um, anyway, but Heather, um, I used to write anonymously on a blog about my struggles, and this lady, she just came across it, and she reached out to me through email, and was like, hey, I just want to let you know I relate to a lot of what you say, I've been there, and this is, she gave me advice on what helped her through and just shared her own stories, her own struggles. And she was a Christian counsellor from America, who <laughs> just happened to be. And so it was like the perfect person to come alongside me and kind of be my mentor because I found it much easier to talk vulnerably to strangers than to people who knew me. Again, I'm not sure maybe you can relate to that. <laughs> um, and so through her, she gave me what Kirk from Psychology in Seattle would call a corrective experience. I told her all of these things I was too afraid to tell people for fear they reje would reject me. But when I told her, she didn't reject me. She still was my friend and she still was there for me. And she never called me crazy. She only ever said, I've been there too. And through year we emailed back and forth for years Anytime I was struggling, anytime I was lost, anytime I was confused, anytime I felt crazy, I just emailed her because she said she loved it. She said that she liked having deep conversations with people. And as a counsellor, she loved helping people and sharing her story and her own struggles and the fact that we related to each other really well. Um, she liked that too. So I didn't have to feel like I was a burden or anything. Um, she just made me know and feel comfortable with reaching out to her anytime. Um, so yeah, anyway, and through that over years and years, I learned, oh, okay, it's okay to share like this. Um, and so I slowly, slowly shared more with other people, from with people in my real life and all that kind of thing, to the point now where <laughs> I share on a YouTube channel. <laughs> so it's been a progression and I love how you know, uh, when we look back, we can see the progress. Sometimes it can feel like we're, we're stuck, we're not going anywhere, and that nothing's changed. But when you look back, you realize, oh, actually, things aren't that grim. Things aren't that bad. There has been growth. There's been progress. There's been change. And, um, yeah, I hope that's encouraging for you. I'm still on the journey with this. I'm not saying I've got it all together. Now I tell everyone anything. <laughs> I still, like I said, I still only feel comfortable sharing some things over on Patreon. And that's okay. We don't ever want to force people to share when they don't want to share. <laughs> um, and it's all about um, making people feel comfortable and knowing our own selves and knowing that we have permission to share when we want to share and not share when we don't want to share because um, your comfort is uh, important. You are important. It's important for you to feel safe. It's important for you to feel comfortable and that's okay. Um, and I just hope, yeah, that you find people in your life um, who make you feel comfortable and safe to share because I do believe every one of us needs at least one, two, three, four, five people who we can go to when we are struggling. And a lot of you who I've met through this channel are now people I would call part of that circle or group who I can just any time of day message and say, hey, I just feel like crying right now, or hey, I'm really worried about this, or I'm really just sad right now. <laughs> um, so look at this, how it's just progressed, and it all started with this lady who God brought into my life at the right time, and I just thank him so much, and I thank Heather so much, and um, The Art of Mental Health, let me get that book. So this book, um, you guys know about this book. You helped me to publish this book. It shares my artwork about a time when I went through depression and anxiety a few years ago. Um, and so this book would never have happened without Heather. I would never share any of my struggles. Never in a million years. Not in a book ever. If it wasn't for the fact that Heather listened to me and was there for me and let me know it was okay to share. And so that was all because of her. And I sent this book to her as a surprise. And my dedication was for her. And when she got this book, <laughs> I didn't want anything in return. <laughs> she, I was thanking her for what she gave me for being a friend and listening to me. But she just felt on her heart, I guess, to give me something. And she gave me this artwork with a dedication on the back of it. So I just... 
I'm so grateful. <laughs> I love this artwork. It's so much. It's beautiful. It's so pretty. I want to print it out and put it on my wall. And um, I hope you patrons enjoy it too. And um, thank you so much, Heather, for allowing that to be made available to them and for all your help in my journey. And thank you to you guys as well for being such great friends and listening to me in the lives ramble and listen to me share over on Patreon and just being there for me. And it's just, um, yeah, really encouraging, helpful <laughs> and a huge journey. So, yeah, it still continues on. And, um, yeah, I just pray that your journey is, um, progresses as well and you learn in your journey that um, you can share and that there's people who are going to be there for you and listen to you and, um, yeah, care about you <laughs> and make you feel safe and comfortable. So, yeah, um, I don't know, I hope that was encouraging. But, yeah, I have filled in a few more pages, but I've got some Junk Journal With Me episodes with those ones. And look forward to sharing those with you later. And yeah, like I said, if you're interested in the picture and hearing more stories from me and other videos and other things over on Patreon, I'll link that below. That would be super, super helpful. That's how I can do this full time. So I'm very, very grateful. Um, and then, yeah, this book as well. All of the print copies are sold out, but I do have digital copies as an ebook. It's exactly the same layout as this, ju just in digital form. You could even print it out yourself if you wanted, but it's a PDF basically, and that is available if anyone is interested as well. Just email me for that. <laughs> okay, cool. So, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope that was fun, <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.